hello friends in this video lecture we will see what is ring topology how ring topology works merits of ring topology and demerits of ring topology here in ring topology each node is connected to multi station access unit through its own cable if you see the structure of ring topology it looks like this there is a multi station access unit it is written here as m a u all these nodes are connected to multi station access unit through this cable this is physical representation as far as the flop token is concerned here data is sent to node 1 then node 2 node 2 sends data to node 3 node 3 to node 4 and again from node 4 to node 1 this flop token is there in a circular order here in physical representation we can say there is a traveling of signal from node 1 to node 2 then from node 2 to node 3 again from node 3 to node 4 after receiving signal at node 4 node 4 sends data to node 1 so here in this manner this ring topology works electrically in circular order here as we have seen in the diagram flow of token is circular that is ring topology behaves like a ring as far as the traveling of signal is concerned means in this ring topology network signals travel around the ring to each node in turn if node wants to send something to a distant node on a ring then it has to go through many intermediate nodes which act like a repeater and what is this repeater repeater is basically a networking device it takes original signal and regenerate the same without any modification that is a repeater so this type of ring topology is designed either using twisted pair cable that is shielded twisted pair cable or optical fiber and use of this twisted pair cable or the optical fiber depends on the ring topology you are going to use means the area of ring topology you are covering means if it is a large distance in that case optical fibers are used and if the distance is small in that case twisted pair cables are used and this ring topology is often used there in the local area network means where the area is comparatively small here in this diagram we can say after sending data to node 1 it sends data to node 2 then node 3 and node 4 means the flow of token is like this and again after receiving data at 4 it sends data to node 1 then what are merits of ring topology this ring topology is easy to set up and install because minimum number of components are used like multi station access unit and some nodes and we prefer this ring topology for a comparatively smaller area because of that smaller area and the less number of components it is easy to configure and reconfigure so in this ring topology we can easily identify fault means here in this case you can see if node 3 it, is not working in that case there is no flow of token from this node 3 or there is no flow of token towards node 3 means here we can easily detect that the fault occurs here at this node 3 and because of this easy fault identification fault troubleshooting is again easy this ring topology is flexible we can add new nodes easily without destructing the existing nodes or existing topology here you can see if you want to add any additional node then simply there is need to add additional node here by connecting cable to the multi-station access unit because of this multi-station access unit we can easily add the new node that's why this ring topology is 
flexible. So as far as the demerits of ring topology is concerned, the flow of data is unidirectional, means after sending data to one node, it sends data to next node. In turn, it sends data to again next node. Because of that, it creates unidirectional traffic. If one node fails, the entire network collapses. This ring topology is expensive because the cost of multi station access unit, cost of cables, and the nodes is there. If multi station access unit fails, then entire network, including multi station access unit and the nodes, become non working. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.